Time now 6.30 and turning now to our top four headlines on KIT before Island News at 6. Here's what you need to know tonight. The Navy released a scathing report today on the failures that caused the fuel leak at the Red Hill Underground Storage Facility. It acknowledged operators were not adequately trained to stop the fuel from leaking into the Navy's water system, contaminating more than 9,000 homes on Oahu. It also says non-compliance with procedures, poor training, supervision and lack of command were also to blame. The Navy plans to defuel Red Hill by the end of 2024 and just into the newsroom. The U.S. Indo-Pacific Command says it established a joint task force to monitor its plans to defuel. Well, a Big Island man won his case against Hawaii County today on his right to carry a firearm. Now, there's no law prohibiting concealed carry, but George Young Jr. says the county's rules are so restrictive that it makes it almost impossible to get a gun permit. The state has only granted four permits between 2000 and 2020. A Big Island homicide victim is being remembered tonight as a father, brother, and uncle. Big Island police found 87-year-old Charles Hacker unconscious with a cut to his neck on Wednesday in the driveway of his Hawaiian Beach's home. Hacker later died at the hospital. Police arrested his 33-year-old neighbor on suspicion of second-degree murder. Hacker's brother says Hacker had served in the Air Force and moved to the islands from West Virginia a couple of years ago. Well, the state is cracking down on scammers impersonating sheriffs. Criminals are posing as law enforcement officers, claiming that the caller has an outstanding warrant, a traffic citation, or missed jury duty, and that they're required to make a payment in order to avoid being arrested. Well, the Department of Public Safety is reminding people that they'll never ask for your personal information or any payment over the phone.